What's up everyone, my name is King Goku and welcome back to another edition of King Goku Talks. Now this video is going to be kind of short, you know, because I kind of want to get to the main point of the video. And this video is basically just me just expressing how I feel right now about YouTube's new copyright policy. Because at first I thought this wouldn't affect me because I'm very careful about what I upload on my channel. Uh, so I kind of ignored it. I'll admit right now, I, I kind of ignored it, you know, because I was like, whatever, I'm careful. I don't upload any kind of copyright stuff to my channel. Unless you count Naruto, but when I do Naruto, I'm doing just the game. I don't upload any clips from the actual show. I don't upload any kind of music from the show either. So I felt that um, that I was safe. Now, last night, Shigas Clouds, he reminded me last night about this, uh, about this new policy change. So I went ahead and checked my channel to see if any of my videos got any kind of claim or strike on them. Uh, and to my surprise, they did. There was only two videos, though. And uh, those two videos, you know, it was kind of shocking. Like, the first one was, uh, it was one of my channel promotion videos that I made. Well, actually, I didn't make the video. The guy who, who won the channel promotion, he's the guy that made the video. Uh, and I did ask him not to use any uh, copyright material in the video. That means don't use any clips from Naruto. Don't, don't use any music from the show. Basically, don't use any copyright material in the video. And uh, I watched the video before I uploaded it. And I asked him, is this, is this music copyrighted? And, and he was like, no, it's, uh, it's copyright free. So I believed them, uploaded the video to my channel, and nothing happened. So I was like, okay, all right, it's good to go. And then last night, I could, I could hit with uh, match third-party content for the music. So, of course, I can't dispute that, so I had to delete that video. And I really don't like deleting videos off my channel, but I didn't have a choice. Um, the other video was actually, um, it was a trailer for Storm 3 where I did a commentary on the trailer, saying what I thought about the trailer and what other stuff you know, I thought was actually in Storm 3. Uh, and that video got, you know, it got acclaimed because because of the footage. You know, Nankom Bandai, they actually, um, they're the ones that put the claim on that video. Now, you know, I mean, the fun thing is, the fun thing is though, it, it says Nankom Bandai put the claim, but I really know that it's YouTube that did that. And I'm not even sure if that makes a whole lot of sense, but it's basically YouTube. So if you see like a, a, a copyright claim, from a video game company, it most likely was because of this new policy change and because YouTube put the claim there. Even though Namco Bandai really does own the copyright to Storm 3, you know, so I can't dispute that they don't, so I had to delete that, that Storm 3 trailer. Even though, you know, it was an old video, so it really didn't matter that much I had to delete it, but it was kind of shocking to see that they were able to put a claim on a video where I did a commentary. That, that was shocking. So that got me thinking, like, what's going to happen to all my other Naruto videos where I have commentary on it? Are all of them going to get hit with copyright claims from Namco Bandai because, of, because I'm playing Storm 3? What's going to happen? I mean, what do you guys think is going to happen? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, King Goku out.